Close your eyes and come back to your breath. If you've left it this morning, it's a good time to get reacquainted. It's always good to check in. Some people ask how many times in the day you should go through the body scan. At least once. It's not necessary that every time you sit down and meditate you've got to scan the whole body, bit by bit, section by section. If you can be aware of the whole body all at once, right from the very beginning, so much the better. But it is good to check the different parts of the body at least once a day. And John Fuang had a student, a nun who was, had lots of health problems, and he told her it's like having a medical exam every day, see which parts of the body need to be adjusted here and adjusted there. Do a little maintenance work. And that way the, the body is in good shape, because you need the body to meditate. Some people say that Theravada bad mouths the body. Well, we just simply notice that what's useful in the body and what's not useful. Getting worked up over how attractive it is, that's not useful. But using it to meditate, using it to be generous, using it to observe the precepts, that's the real use for the body, the best use for the body. So you look after it. John Fu had another student who had been away from him for many years, and she'd gotten into a very refined breath. So every time she sat down to meditate, that's where she'd go immediately. And it was the same sort of issue. He said, look, you're, you're, the body needs some care. Look after it. Give it energizing breathing when it needs that. Give it calm breathing when it needs that. Learn how to make use of this breath energy you've got so it can keep things in balance. And so the body can be useful. Having good breathing is sometimes better than having good food. The body can survive on miserable food, but it can't survive very well without good breathing. So learn how to look after the breath needs of the body as a daily part of your meditation. And you'll find that both body and mind will benefit.